Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I am recording on my laptop camera because my memory card for my big cam my big good camera is um full and I was trying to get everything off and it said it was gonna take twenty three hours. No, I don't wanna take no twenty three hours. So I'm going to do this because tomorrow is upload day. Or well, tomorrow's Friday. But you're watching this on Friday, so ha <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, thank you for joining me today. Um Today I am doing a review on three products that were sent to me for review purposes. I am not being paid. I did get the products for free to review. But these are all my opinions. I'm going to tell you the honest truth about if I like them or not and if they're worth their money or not. And thank you. Ugh, anyways. Here's the name. I will put it down. The linky down in the bottom. Yeah, I don't want to butcher it, so I don't say that. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about this. It is kind of dark or kind of bright for here. This. It is a dry hair glove microfiber. Drying towel, fast drying towel, and yeah. Um, so I'm squeezing my hair so you can see it. it is super wet. See it dripping? <laughs> it's dripping. Look at my shirt, it's all wet. I love this glove, it's soft, it's pink. And it works pretty good. You just really need two gloves to get, especially if you got a lot of hair, you're gonna want two gloves to kind of be faster with it. My hair glove is microfiber, hair towel, fast drying, super absorbent, super fine, soft salon pink, salon wrap pink. Um, it's soft touch, one size fits most, you can use it for babies, it's that soft. Um, it's a dry micro wee fiber designed for dry hair, drying hair fast. Can't even speak. Um, it's waterproof material inside, so it doesn't get it wet. Your hand might sweat a little, but you know, because it was a little, it seemed a little wet inside, but I don't know if that was because my hand was already wet when I stuck it in there. Probably that, that would make sense. Um, but it's better for your hair than regular towels and it's easy to clean and dry and let me tell you I love this glove it is soft it's pink and my hair dried so much quicker than normal so I suggest it I love it here I'm going to show you how well it dried that's the wet and dry of the towel the dry wet is from earlier when I put my hair washed my hair now it's just after the glove and there is a see the side right there that is from when I came got my hair done washed. we have they're also pink you get the file and you get the little what is it called the file but you can also get it towards just the gloves or just the booties I believe but this one I get the file and the booties they are, um, you get these silicone booties. They're opened on both ends. So your toes don't get all toasty. It has, when they're a little dirty, the one last night. But anyways, it has this gel in the heel part. Soft. Um, so you follow your foot first. Yes. Then you polish it with this. Now I wouldn't do it with a wet foot because I think it would just tear up the skin a little bit too much. I do it dry because I've I've used nail files 
on my feet that I bought some good ones from like Sally's to use. But anyways, and it has this little thing right here. I'm not quite sure what the opening is, but this thing pops open. So I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I don't want to pop it open again. But anyways, I tell you these things are comfortable. It's a little funny walking around because you'll slide a little bit. But I put what put it on last night and it was like this cooling sensation. It was awesome. And it smells really good. Yeah. It smells really good. And I, I, I love these things. These are awesome. And yeah. Okay, so I'm filing my foot. Please no comments about my crusty feet, okay? I walked around barefooted all day long. And my heels were terrible. They like rough and hard and snag on everything. I've been needing a pedicure, but I've been too lazy to do my pedicure myself. And I'm a broke chat, broke woman, so um, I don't like go to the salon. I should go and support my girls at Empire, but um, yeah, that's a lot of gas to go up there. It's like an hour away, but hey. But um, so I used the the rough spot, rough side, the um, ooh, crusty. Look at that, this fell off my foot. Well, it didn't fall off my foot, but I shaved off my foot. Look at that nastiness. But I used the rough side for getting all that grit off. Yes, the camel quality is not very good, but hey, I work with what I got. Then I used the soft side to gently file. Now I'm putting some Nivea cream. I don't know. It's something in a blue can. It's what I found. I wasn't searching forever. And uh, put it on. And then I put on the little booties. Look, I put on the booties. And let me tell you, it was a challenge to walk because my foot wanted to slip and slide in the back. But my toes were like firm. But I slept comfortable with them on. And now the big reveal. You can't see very much. But hey, let's check it out. My camera's skills were terrible but I tried look at that it looks so much softer oh it still looks dirty but after I put the stuff on I wasn't taking a shower I just have to wait but look it, it's still soft it's still soft my feet are so soft they're a little sore because I think I a little filed a little too much but I've also been walking around on hard heels hard cracked heels so that might be the reason that they're not used to it, but hey, they're awesome. And next, the multi-purpose oval, mo 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 oval makeup brushes. Ultra soft and flexible, great care for your delicate skin. Six pieces. And what I liked about it was here on the box, it gives you each one of the brushes you get and their uses like okay so the brushes the lovely brushes um i used an oval six for foundation and my foundation looks a little dark but hey it actually turned me a little pink during the day but anyways you get six pieces of toothbrush shaped makeup brushes um the material is synthetic hair. The handle is plastic. Um, you, they're super fine, soft, high density, synthetic fiber hair. Enable you to a smooth, silky, soft makeup journey with a sense of luxury. The brush meets all of your makeup needs to apply foundation, powder, concealer, eyeliner, contour, BB cream, and lip. And this one, I'm using the Oval 2 for a concealer. And yes, a lot more concealer. I tried to do it in spots so it didn't like, you know, dry on me while I was trying to work these things because I really never really worked them too much. I used them too much. This was like the first time I used them and they were like, awesome. So awesome. Another dot of foundation. That one, that little dot seemed like it went forever. I mean, the little dot on my nose didn't seem like it had that much, but, uh, hello, on my chin, of course. Um, and then I used the six, over six for the foundation, and then my camera filled up, so I had to use my camera on here, and I'm using 
the fi oval five for contour which is like thin and the video decided she wanted to poke in and so I look like I am outlined yeah they decided she wanted to pop in hey and of course me looking at the box to make sure I'm using the right ones for what I need which doesn't matter you can use whatever you want for whatever you want there's no rules but I was trying to do right and then I used an oval four for blending and of course kids make me distracted with the mail I don't know why I kept this part in the video but I guess I just didn't realize it I reeled it on back to blending yes gotta try to get rid of that double chin turkey neck man I've got to get out there and lose some weight I don't care what people say but I mean I do it for me which I need to get out there and do so more blending 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 and I'm still blending because I don't know to me it just looked like it wasn't blending and it was blending but I couldn't tell in the lights with the can and the camera even in that mirror I couldn't see and it made me sad but I blended 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 and I was good um now to okay so now I'm using the oval one for my brows it did really good for my brows when I kind of got the hang of it because I'm so used to using brow pencils and then I had to discovered I had to use a little bit darker to fill in some spots because it wasn't filling in right so I had to use darker stuff I really liked using this for brows I know I'm going to use this one again for brows because it just seems like it filled in my brows and it wasn't so harsh as the pencil or the um, not pencils but the um brushes i usually use now i'm using the oval two for eyeshadow and i'm using it for my base of my eyeshadow like the first color i put on which is the lightest um because it just seemed like it fit it was kind of awkward because it was kind of bigger than norm than I'm used to. But I guess it'd be all right for the base that I use. Or I mean, like you know, my base shade. I also used this oval two for my first transitional type color, which I only used a couple colors for my makeup look. So. You know, because I usually use way more shadows. And I'm going to now use the... Oh, snap. Which one is that one? Uh, I think that's the one I contoured with, the Oval 2. Or is that the Oval 5? Yep. Yeah, oh, it's the Oval 5. My bad. It's the Oval 5 for the lids. Then I use the oval three to blend and apply the darker shade in the corners and under the eye so i use it under the eyes and blend a little and then i use my big powder brush for some blending and my sponge to kind of clean up a little Now I'm just going to act a little goofy, not much and a little all crazy because I don't know, I am goofy and crazy sometimes. And now I'm going to use, oh I got something stuck to my face, uh, I'm going to use the oval one for the eyeliner. And it's a gel eyeliner obviously. And I like using gel eyeliner. And my eyeliner not look so pretty. Which makes me very, very sad. Because I like nice looking eyeliner. It was kind of awkward to use this for eyeliner. 
I don't really think I'm going to use this for eyeliner too much. I'll probably use it for the brows for the most of the part, you know, for the most time. I will use the foundation brush for my foundation. I will use <laughs> the one I use for contour for contouring. Um, and I'll use the one I used for blending to blend. And there we go on the inside of my eye, which was kind of even awkwarder. Even awkwarder word. Is that a word? I don't know. Um, I'm going to use the oval two or over one just to blend a little bit more and look all crazy and dance a little. Who knows? And well then, that just cut off. And now I'm going to use the oval two to highlight my eye. Now I'm going to use the oval one to highlight the inner part of my eye. Which is good for that actually. I think that's probably the only thing I'm going to use that one for. Um, I'm using the oval six, the one I use for foundation for my blush. So overall this is a very good set of brushes. I love brushes and so I know when I got a decent brush. These are pretty good. They're sturdy and they work really good. The few is not for what I want them for though. And I'm once again using the oval two this time for my highlight. Look at the highlight. Fabulous. Fabulous. Used another one for my foundation, a cheaper one from or a cheap one from like a beauty store around here because I just wanted to draw but I didn't really like it because the handle was not um it was really too flexible and I didn't like it this one's got pretty pretty sturdy ones which I like um will not use this again for eyeliner because it's too thick it's not see it's not perfectly flat enough for eyeliner it made my eyeliner thick I don't always like thick eyeliner, especially when I'm not doing a bold eye. See? I've, I've been in the heat all day, so my makeup is all messed up. All messed up. But I won't use this for eyeliner. I will use it for probably just to fill in an eyebrows with powder. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.